algebra. The very word can strike fear into the hearts of students. Traditionally known as one of the most difficult math courses, many students struggle to learn algebra with little success. Last year, in one large urban school district on the West Coast, 65% of the students taking Algebra 1 failed the course. In fact, the 2008 report by the National Mathematics Advisory Panel revealed that many students do not even understand procedures for solving equations. Well, you have to understand, for many children, when you look at an algebraic equation, it's really like looking at Chinese symbols. Uh, and they, they have no idea of what they're doing. They're trying to memorize what to do. It makes no sense. And so they're going to make all kinds of mistakes that anybody who knew what the symbols meant and what they're supposed to do would, would, would not do. Yet because algebra is a gateway to the further study of mathematics and the sciences, it is essential to have teaching methods that work for all students. And since algebra is so abstract, these methods must also be engaging. In fact, the National Math Panel found that the number one challenge expressed by Algebra I teachers is lack of student motivation. If students do not understand what the algebraic symbols mean, if they're not experiencing success, why should they be motivated, even though they know it's very important? So what these students need to do, and what they really needed to do, is to have had a successful experience with algebra years earlier with understanding, and then now they'd be motivated to succeed. But to present it to them at the abstract level at the ninth grade makes the whole situation very difficult for them. Today, there is an innovative instructional approach that actually makes algebra fun and easy to learn. At Sawgrass Elementary, located in Broward County, Florida, teachers are using a math system known as hands-on equations created by mathematics teacher Dr. Henry Borenson. The program is designed to demystify the teaching of algebraic equations. Instead of working with uh, variables and constants and everything is visual in front of you and you can instantly understand the difference. Take an equation such as 4x plus 3 equals 3x plus 9. We represent that using four blue pawns and a cube with the number 3. And on the other side, the three x's are three blue pawns and a cube with the number 9. So we have now demystified this equation. At this point, the children are ready to solve it, and they maintain the balance by removing a blue pawn from each side. And they do that three times, and now you're left with an X on one side, and a three next to it, and a nine on the other. So at this point, the students could see that the pawn has to be six, because six and three is nine. So the answer to this equation is X equals six. Students in this fourth grade classroom are able to solve advanced algebraic equations which most students do not perform until the eighth or ninth grade. They truly understand what it is that they're doing. Um, they're working with uh, items that are familiar with them, the game, almost like game pieces, pawns and the number cubes, and they're transitioning an, an abstract equation uh, into something that is very concrete and very familiar to them. They're simplifying the equation and solving for x in a way that is truly understand, understood by those students because what it is that they're doing is they're working with their understanding of fairness. They're balancing an equation by removing the equal, equal amounts from either side. I like it because I, I really can put some thought into finding out what, what, how to solve the algebra question. It, it's, I really think that that is a good way to express, express my, how, how well I can do in math. We have been able to achieve great results. As a matter of fact, at the beginning of the school year, Broward County Public Schools in September administer what is called the benchmark assessment test, or what we tend to call it as the BAT-1. And our fourth grade students at Sawgrass Elementary were below grade level initially. With the implementation of the hands-on equations program, our students were able to catch up to this district and state level. An important goal of the innovative algebraic learning system is to enable students to solve problems conceptually rather than by memorization. And I discovered that after a while, that as fast as I would put up the problem on the board, they could solve it in their mind because mentally, they could move from that concrete to the pictorial to the abstract. It made sense. We're using a negative integers and so forth, and they did just as well with it. I like to be challenged, and um, it is really challenging, so I would like to um, figure out each of the challenge um, equations. 
The hands-on equations teaching method is empowering students to work sophisticated algebraic concepts which have been found to enhance their self-esteem and interest in mathematics. The students actually uh, ask me, you know, when are we doing hands-on equations? You know, we haven't done hands-on equations this week. When are we going to do it? They are very motivated by it. And I think the motivation comes from the feelings of success that they get as they are solving the equations and also the non-threatening environment because they feel that they are playing games. Putting the uh, equations back and then checking to make sure that they got the right answer, those feelings of success um, are, uh, are things that really motivate children to do things again. They want more of it. Algebra is fun and it's easy and when you get to work it out, that's what kind of loosens it up and makes it easier. Students not only enjoy the program and experience high levels of success, but teachers also love teaching hands-on equations. The day that I went to uh, hands-on equations in 1991 changed my life because all of a sudden algebra made sense. You could take these manipulatives, these pawns, these values, and all of a sudden everything that was concrete and you could move to the abstract and the pictorial and everything made You're sense hungry? and I couldn't wait to go back and use it with my students. In a recent study also in Broward County, Florida, 80% of fourth and fifth grade students successfully solved equations with unknowns on both sides after only seven lessons of hands-on equations. Hands-on equation tells us that there's no reason at all now why all students beginning as early as the fourth or fifth grade and certainly in the middle school and certainly by the time they get to algebra cannot solve equations with unknowns on both sides. We have no excuse anymore. If we have an illness and a medicine is available, there's no reason to have that illness anymore unless somebody you know, wants to stay ill. So we really have a means to solve a national problem and that would enhance the success of students in mathematics throughout the United States. One of the goals of the mathematics profession is that all students have a strong foundation for algebra by the end of eighth grade. Thanks to the hands-on equations educational tool, students as early as the third grade are well on their way to building a solid mathematics education while having lots of fun. For more information about hands-on equations, visit Borenson.com, making algebra child's play.